You are welcome to today's lesson. This time we are taking question tag. What is question tag? You are set to know that. And then of course we are going to take practical questions to look at question tag. And through that we we'll explain the concept behind question tag. Uh, it is not something that will actually give you any much problem. So please get uh, be attentive so that you can uh, get maximum benefit from today's lesson. Now let's look at hints and question tag. Hint number one. A question tag is made up of three principal parts. What are these principal parts? They are the statement, the tag, and the response. Well, the response may be nominal because actually uh, it may not necessarily be needed Although sometimes it can be given to confirm the assumption. For example, if you say, you are going home, aren't you? There may be no need to say yes, I am. Because obviously the person who asked the question would have seen the person going. And I'm sure just be asking for, to, to state the fact that he's aware of that. So, although sometimes, yes, the person going will answer and say, yes, I am. So that is the point. But in, in all, so you have three principal parts. The first two are more important, the statement and the tag. So when you're asking the, the question tag, the statement and the tag must be there. The response could be given, it could be left out by the listener. Okay, so that is point number one. Now we're moving to point number hit number two. When the statement is positive, the tag is negative and the response is positive. So that is positive, negative, positive, and vice versa. What we're saying now is, um, in this case, it means the response usually agrees with the statement. Positive, negative, positive. This is statement, this is tag, this is response. That's what it means. We'll take the example to illustrate. Now look at the example. She is clever. Isn't she? Yes, she is. She is clever. Isn't she? Yes, she is. Now, you can see that the verb here is positive in the statement. The verb here in the tag is negative. Here's the NT with the O omitted, replaced by the apostrophe. Now, you come to this response. The verb is positive. That means it agrees with the statement. Now, Vice versa, in the reverse order, we can have she isn't clever. Is she? No, she isn't. So that is the point. So that takes care of hint number two. And this is very important. This is the basic thing about question time. Hint number three. When the verb used is auxiliary, not main verb, it is the same type that is used in all three components of the question tag. Now, look at the example to, to illustrate. That is, when we have the verb used as auxiliary, it is the same type. You don't change. Now, look at it. She is clever. Isn't she? Yes, she is. Now, this is not the issue of positive negative. We are looking at the type of verb, which is is. Now, I won't come here and move to she is clever, wasn't she, and move to words. No, you can't change from this type to another words. Or she is clever, aren't she? No, that won't work. So, you must use that same type of verb, is, is. And that's why I underline only is and left the empty because not the issue of uh, positive or negative. Uh, you can see is, is, is running through the three components of the question tag. So take note of that hint as well. Hint number four. However, when it is a main verb that is used in the statement, the corresponding verb to do is used. The verbs to do are do, does, and did. It is from here, these three do, does, and did you pick if what you have is a main verb. Let's take for example the sentence. He goes to work every morning. He goes to work every morning. Now, our verb here is goes, which is a main verb. So, you will take, in your tag, you will not take the verb corresponding to that, 
and that does is a singular verb. The singular do verb is does. So it will not be doesn't he, and the rest won't be yes he does. So why the statement has the main verb goes in that sentence, it what goes with it now is does, does, but you simply take the negative since this part is positive. So that's what you do when it when it's a main verb that you have in the statement. Hint number five. When the subject is a third person pronoun in the statement, you know the third person pronouns, you can have she, he, they, it, these are third person pronouns. That same pronoun is using the tag and the response. Now look at the example. She is clever, isn't she? Yes, she is. What is the subject? The subject is she. Now that same subject is repeated in the tag she and it's also appearing in the response she. So you want to note this point also about question tag. Hint number six. However, when the subject is a first person pronoun or the second person pronoun, that same pronoun is used in the tag, but the alternate is used in the response. So it will move across to the response. Now let's look at an example. E.g. You are clever. Aren't you? Yes, I am. Now you can see the subject in the statement is you. This subject is repeated in the tag you. But when it comes to the response, you have I. It is simply because the speaker who says you talking to the listener is the, is, is the first person talking to the listener is talking to a second person who is a listener. So he says you are clever and you. Now when the listener responds, the listener is going to refer to himself as first person and that means you need a first person pronoun. You cannot start saying you again because that would be referring to the speaker when the subject is on the list, the, the initial listener. So you have to know this point about question time. It's, it's, a, it's a point that can confuse you. So take special note of this. Furthermore, on the issue of the subject that is used in the, in the statement, when the subject in the statement is a noun, not a pronoun, in this case it's a noun, we use a corresponding pronoun in the tag and response. Take the example now. Octuko is clever, isn't she? Yes, she is. What we have there now is Octuko is a noun, a proper noun. And we cannot repeat her name here by saying isn't isn't Octuko. That would be clumsy, and they will say yes, Octuko is. That is awkward. It's usually not done. You simply replace the noun with the appropriate product. And taking Otuko as a female, then we use she corresponding to it. We can't say it's in tits, for example, or it's in he. But of course, Otuko is uh, uh, is unisex. It's, 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 it can be applied to any of the two genders. All right. So, but we're taking this Otuko as female, and that and, and that means we're using isn't she? Yes, she is. So Otuko, she, she. So you want to take note of that. Now let's look at hint 8. Hint 8 is simply to draw your attention to the fact that this topic has been taught on this website. So simply click on the page to get more explanation on these points I have given. For example, I have not explained to you that is it possible because what we have seen all through is that the response must tie in with the statement, with the assumption of the speaker. Is it possible in real life that we can have the opposite? Yes, it's possible. All of that is explained in, on the website, but usually question on that point is not asked in the exam, so we may not bother about that. But you have more explanation on this website where this topic is taught. Click on that page, you have more explanation. Then you have more examples even under each explanation. I want you to do that and benefit yourself. But of course, we are going to move on to taking practical questions to explain this point more and of course that also can go a long way to help you handle questions in exam.
Now, let us look at some explained questions and answers that were taking practical questions now. Question number one. You are just putting the hat on. Then, the question is to supply the pad. We we'll have options. A, you are just, A is don't you? You are just putting the hat on, don't you? That's A. B, isn't it? You are just putting the hat on, isn't it? And then C, aren't you? You are just putting the hat on, aren't you? And then D, not so. You are just putting the hat on, not so. What is the answer? Before I tell you the answer, you have to be wary of isn't it and not so. We have users who simply use this, but they are wrong usages. And for every question, every statement question tag, they simply supply them as a tag. Uh, you are going home, isn't it? You are eating, isn't it? They have come, isn't it? We are going, isn't it? No, that shouldn't be the case. So be careful with isn't it. Of course, it can be a tag, but it must be appropriate. For example, um, it is a phone, isn't it? It is a phone, isn't it? That will correspond with the it in the statement and is in uh, that you have also in the statement. Then not so. Some also do that. Uh, he's going, not so. They have come, not so. We are eating, not so, and uh, things like that. That should also not be the case. So take note of that. You must look at your verb. You are just putting the hat on. Your pretty verb here, the one which we concerned with is ah. And since this is positive, we take the, the same ah, the negative form. And if you look at that, that is option C and Q. Of course, you also look at your subject, which is you. Uh, Okay, and two that becomes C as the answer. Question number two You don't like mathematics, that's you. You don't like mathematics, but that's you. Options A, do you don't like mathematics, do you? B, don't you don't like mathematics, don't you? C, can't you don't like mathematics, can't you? And D, can you don't like mathematics? Can you? Now we have a number of reasons to eliminate all wrong options. First, we look at this is negative, so we can simply remove all options that are negative because your tag has to be positive. So B goes, C goes, and then you have between A and can. And of course, you can already, you can see two already in place. So the verb should also be the same to but a positive form, and that makes this place to you. The answer therefore is A. Question number three. He wrote to you dash. He wrote to you dash, meaning that we should supply the tag. Now we look at the options. He wrote to you that A hadn't he. He wrote to you hadn't he. Then B wouldn't he. That is, he wrote to you wouldn't he. C didn't he. That is, he wrote to you, didn't he? And then D, hasn't he? That is, he wrote to you, hasn't he? Remember what was mentioned during the hint. First, you have to look at uh, the, what we have here is positive. He wrote to you. There's no negative particle there. So we can... Uh, okay, so every option is negative. So our attack has to be negative. And all the options are negative. So we can't use that to remove any option. Alright, we we'll take another line. We we'll look at, we, we need to remember what was we'll said about what you have here. This is a main verb. A main verb, in the tag, you now have to bring the do verb. And remember, we said to the corresponding do verb. And you have three of them. You have do, does, and did, and did. Do, does, and did. So you are going to bring any of these three. Wouldn't is not one, hasn't is not one, hadn't is not one. The one that comes from there is did. Now, is it correct? Yes, because the road is in past. It's, it's, a, it's a past tense. Then did is also is a past form of the do verb. And so it comes in here. But wrote here is positive, so that is why it is negative. So our answer is therefore C. He wrote to you, didn't he? That becomes the answer of question number three. Question number four. 
you can travel on your own. Again, you are expected to supply the third. You can travel on your own. Now, if you look at that, your answer has to be negative, and all the options have negative uh, are negative. Okay, so we you we are not using that still this time. Now, what do we look at? Look at your verb can. You have can auxiliary verb and a name verb travel. But once you have such a situation, you take you use your auxiliary verb to operate. Now, already it's can. Now, since it is positive, what do you look for? You look for the negative form of can, and that is B, can't. And of course, the right subject is supply. So we'll take B as our answer. You can travel on your own, can't you? That is the answer. Question number five. You aren't his enemy, are you? And then you expected to supply the response. The, uh, the listeners expected to supply the response. And this time you're doing that. You aren't his enemy, are you? Now, what should be the response? The options here are A. Yes, I am. That is, you aren't his enemy, are you? Yes, I am. And then you have B. You aren't his enemy, are you? No, you aren't. And then we have C. No, I aren't. You aren't his enemy, are you? No, I aren't. And then we have D. No, I am not. You aren't his enemy, are you? No, I am not. Now, look at the options. Let's start straining them one after the other. A. You aren't his enemy, are you? Yes, I am. That can't work. The response usually agrees with your statement. And this is not agreeing. This is positive. In the statement, you have negative. Okay? Now, we'll take option B. Option B is no, you aren't. You aren't his enemy, are you? You have no, you aren't. Of course, this is negative uh, that to agree with the statement. The problem, however, is that remember that when you have you in the statement, your response will change to, uh, this is second person, it will change to first person. So it should, the subject should be I, not you. That removes B. They will take C. You aren't his enemy, are you? No, I aren't. Of course, this also agree, and you have I there. But the problem is with the verb. I doesn't take I. I goes with am, and that takes us to D. D, you aren't his enemy, are you? No, I am not. That is the answer. So D is our answer. However, you need to note something. That in D, we do not have the, we do not use the contracted form of am and not because there isn't anyone. So we wrote it in full. Okay? Now, we come to C. So some people sometimes write it as C. No, I aren't. That is acceptable, but it's informally acceptable. That is non standard usage. So in a situation of exam, of course, D is your answer because it's the standard form. Now, D again is the answer to question number five.